so this is just going to be a quick few minute video for what we got for you guys today for today's video and we are going to be discussing about the review and everything coming up for our new TCL QM8 TV that we got coming in just a couple of days and also us reviewing the new version of Red Dead Redemption 1 on the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch. Now, even though I personally don't think that this new version is honestly worth $50, we are definitely going to still be getting it for the PlayStation 4 and the, the Nintendo Switch, and we will be getting it once whenever it is available for pre-order so most likely next wednesday on a day before it actually releases is actually when we're going to be receiving it now there have been some screenshots had that have been shown and it does look like it does have some improvements on the graphics side of things not like a ton to consider a remaster but when it comes to like the lighting, the contrast, the colors, and especially the resolution, there definitely does seem like there are some improvements in those categories on Red Dead Redemption 1, especially if you play it on the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, and even specifically backward compatibility through the PlayStation 5. Now, I still will admit on what I said yesterday, I honestly think as long as it has a, you know, some sort of a clean, crisper 1080p on the base PS4 and somewhat of a 4K enhancement on the PlayStation 4 Pro, then yeah, but if they also do a 60 FPS option that uncaps the frame rate or makes the game run at a steady 60, on backwards compatibility on both the PlayStation 5 and Series X, then fans would actually be very, very thankful for this. But as it really turns, the fans are definitely not very, very happy with this new port of Red Dead Redemption 1. But other than that, we are going to be getting the game no matter what if it's $50 and we'll probably even do a review also on Undead Nightmare for both the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch. But other than that, I definitely still am very, very excited to see how crisper and how slightly better it does look, specifically on the PlayStation 4 Pro, for an example and all that good stuff and also seeing how well that it performs on the handheld on the nintendo switch so we are definitely still looking forward to this even though i still think that rockstar should have actually like did something better with this like an actual remaster would have been nicer but honestly it does look like there will be some improvements so we definitely are going to be doing a review for it now also our TV, our TCL QM8 TV that we got is going to be coming in on Thursday. So literally just two days from now and probably this coming up Saturday on our day off work. This is probably when we will do our review video for that TV. But as it clearly stands for Red Dead Redemption, we are definitely looking forward to reviewing it and how much better that it looks and performs on the PlayStation 4 Pro and then even on the handheld awesome Nintendo Switch console. So even though I still think that it's very, very disappointed and for the pricing that they're asking for, we are still somebody that is still going to be buying it and to do in a review. But as it stands, that is what we are going to be doing. So be sure to Keep on the lookout for the review videos coming for Red Dead Redemption on the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch, and as well as our TV TCL QM8 TV coming out in just a couple of days once we receive it. And we are going to be doing an unboxing video for that day for it, but then once it, as it turns for the review video, that won't be until most likely Saturday on our following next day off of work so just a few quick mini video that i wanted to give you guys 
So be sure to stay on the lookout for the TCL QM8 TV review that we got coming. And also be sure to stay tuned in for our reviews for Red Dead Redemption 1 and Undead Nightmare on the PlayStation 4 and the Nintendo Switch once they officially get released next week. But anyhow, that pretty much does it for a quick few minute video for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you guys could smack that like button and also be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to this channel and also be sure to comment down in the comment section down below if you are still somebody that is looking forward to getting Red Dead Redemption and to checking it out on your PlayStation 4 Pro, PlayStation 5 through backwards compatibility or if you're really really excited to play it on a Nintendo console for the first time ever and spe specifically the Nintendo Switch being able to play it Red Dead Redemption on the go. So yeah, just leave us your thoughts down in the comment section down below and also be sure to stay tuned in for the review videos for our TV and Red Dead Redemption once they get released and gets delivered. But without further ado, this is Tekken Gaming Reviews. Hope you all enjoyed it. Rate, comment, and subscribe and we will see you on the next one.